In this video, we are going to discuss how to affair proof your relationship. This will work on the proviso that your partner is not affected by addiction, mental or emotional issues. This is supposed to work if you're in a normal relationship. Hi and welcome. If this is your first time here, my name is Ernie Silovic and I'm a relationship trainer and therapist where I teach couples how to be masters in the art and science of love, romance, communication, fun, excitement, passion and emotional fulfillment. Before we start talking about why people have affairs, we need to understand why people fall in love. This way, we can use it to stay in love. The reason a man falls in love is because of the way he feels about himself when he is with you. When a man feels like a man, and hence feels masculine, he will not even think about going to another woman. When a man falls in love, he feels sexier, more confident, more capable, and the like. All of Lesson 2 in my program, Awaken His Passion, goes into depth about how to do that. Briefly, if you compliment a man on everything he says, does, thinks, and intends, and you build him up, and even when he screws up, he feels he can't do anything wrong, and he feels safe and secure about being open with you without judgment, he will do anything for you to be happy. I once saw Opera interview seven men, each had been married for a variety of years, from recent to many years, and each had an affair, some once, others several times. Each man said it wasn't due to a lack of love and that they actually loved their wives. Here is clear evidence that love is insufficient and that something was lacking. These men did not feel like men with their wives. I am not saying I agree with these men's behavior. I am simply explaining what can happen when a man has something and it is taken away from him. For him to have married you, he must have felt special to you in some or many ways and this became less over time. With women, it is the same thing. A woman falls in love with you because of how she feels about herself. When a woman falls in love, she feels prettier, happier, sexier, and more beautiful. In lesson two of the men's program, Awaken Her Passion, I go into detail about understanding women. Therefore, if you or your partner have had or are having an affair, this is why. They are no longer feeling good about themselves when they are with you and are instead getting it from someone else. This doesn't mean they are in love with the other person. What they are in love with is how they feel about themselves when with the other person. So, if you want to fight fire with fire, find ways to make your partner feel good about themselves when they're with you. This is as simple as I can make it. I had one man in a Facebook group disagree with me about this and said he married his wife because she was a good person, had high morals, etc. I explained to him that although I am sure she had all those wonderful qualities, the reason he fell in love with her compared to why he married her was because of the way he felt about himself when he was with her. He then got it. You ladies will understand where I am coming from when I say, as I am so often told or they tell their friends, that they went out on a first date and the only thing the guy spoke about was himself and how she couldn't wait for the day to end. He was all me, me, me. All he did was talk about himself. Not once did he ask her any questions about herself. He was so self-absorbed, I could have walked away and he probably wouldn't have noticed. A woman told me a story where she was married for several years and she asked her husband, while in their home, without looking, what color is the painting on the wall? He said, what, are you crazy? She reiterated, what color is the painting on the wall? You have been in this house for many years and I want you to tell me. He replied, I have no idea. She then replied, that is why I'm divorcing you. For you guys who missed the message or meaning, it is that, in the early days, he would have noticed his wife and complimented her on her new hairstyle, cooking, doing the housework, and looking after the children. And what happened was that, over the years, not only did he stop noticing things in his house, yet he also stopped noticing his wife. He was so engrossed in his work and his own interests that his wife took a back seat and, hence, became almost invisible. Another reason why people have affairs, which is linked to the above, is boredom. I am so bored, I frequently hear couples say, I am here to tell you that if you are bored, then you are boring. Personally, I am never bored. 
I have so many things to do, think about, enjoy, experience, read, watch, learn and have fun with. Again, I go into detail about becoming spontaneous in my programs and it doesn't have to cost much. For those of you who have not watched the video, Awaken Their Passion, 7 Secrets of Great Relationships, where I am asked to recall one of the funniest moments students of mine have had after going through my programs, yet I give my own experience, which will happen soon when I move to Europe to be with my wife. To save time here, I say how I am going to go to my wife's workplace in a gorilla costume, shock her to pieces, and then give her some lovely gifts that will touch her, and then dance to the song, Do You Love Me, from the movie Dirty Dancing, and she will laugh hysterically. This, I anticipate, will be one of the most important days in her life. Men and women use a scoring system. Doing big things earns a lot of points for men, while doing small things earns a small number of points. So, the bigger the better when it comes to winning over a man. For women, it is different. The size of the gift isn't as important as the intention in winning her over. A diamond ring has the same number of points as a single rose. This may appear to be unfair, yet it also goes to show that it doesn't have to take a lot of money to make a woman happy. Although I cover in great depth some remarks women have made to their man regarding the gift he bought her, these women either see the pain in their man's eyes and learn to appreciate the man more than the gift in comparison, or they end up being alone. If a man feels love for what he has, what he has made of his life, and the success he has achieved, he feels used, not loved. This is where complimenting him on what he says, does, feels, and intends comes in and helps fill in the gaps of what he has been missing. Women are often tired of being built up on how they look, which isn't a reason to stop, yet they too want to be appreciated for who and what they are, for how intelligent they are, how they think, how they see things, and what they have accomplished. If you support your wife with her wishes and desires, for example, if she wants to go back to school and you help her go shopping by getting her pens, books, etc., and other things she feels she may need, she will be by your side forever. For women, little things mean a lot. To save time here, I strongly suggest you also watch in addition and follow the guidance given there, the video, How to Know When Your Relationship Is In Trouble. I trust you have enjoyed this video and to ensure you keep getting more great quality information, click on one of the other videos at the end here or if you really want your relationship to move forwards in the most effective way, start going through your program, Awaken His Passion, A Course for Women or Awaken Her Passion, A Course for Men. I go into more detail with this information there. You receive a full 30 day money back guarantee and get to listen to two thirds of the course with online support in our undergraduate Facebook group to find out if it is a good fit for you, so click on the link in the description box. I hope to see you in our undergraduate Facebook group.